We've got some interesting new information pertaining to the cargo hauling missions in Star Citizen Alpha 3.24. This and more. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So not too long ago, um, with the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 patch, um, we've gotten some more information pertaining to how the um, the new cargo hauling missions um, is going and um so the very first one here it says for cargo hauling missions it says located under the hauling tab in the contracts manager so this is how you'll get these uh missions i feel like the the contract manager list is getting way too long they need to find another way of um way of representing these categories of missions anyways but just my thoughts it also says here you will require a ship that can carry at least six seu as a mission will have you carry about six to ten crates worth of cargo to another location so yeah so that, that's going to be the minimum requirement for those uh, that want to get into hauling so when you think about um, starter ships these are things you need to consider if you're looking to get into the game and you want to do hauling consider getting a ship that can at least carry at least six seu so look for your general purpose ships like your nomads um i think i'm not, not i think the avengers could have up to six seu i think um but look into them look into the, the cargo capacity of that ship before getting in if you want to get into cargo hauling anyways all right up next it says um you go into your instance hangar and the cargo will be available in the cargo elevator screen neatly indicated as being a part of a specific contract even mentioning the name of the contract itself so that's going to be pretty cool to be able to actually see it and know what this cargo is for all right it goes on to say load up your cargo onto your ship and take it to the destination once all cargo is unloaded and put into the warehouse of the location, put cargo in an elevator and send it down like you would store it, uh, store items normally. Cargo vanishes and counts towards the completion progress. So that's going to be how you complete your cargo mission. So um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool um it says here rewards are calculated based on the percentage of cargo successfully delivered so um i like this idea in case uh you get robbed and at least <laughs> somebody takes one of your cargo or you get attacked and you lose some of it and you can de still deliver some of it and get paid according to what ma you manage to get over there so i like that i like that. i don't i don't i don't like the fact the the possibility of missing one and uh not getting paid at all that would suck <laughs> that would suck all right so it continues to say failing to complete missions within a five hour time frame will mark all remaining cargo as stolen interesting so would it would be marked as stolen if you're the only if you're the one if it's on your ship or even somebody let's say somebody uh finds your ship somewhere and find this cargo and puts it onto them i think they'll probably find i think you'll find out if a specific cargo is stolen through your tractor beam i think hopefully they do or else you'll get in trouble if you don't know that that particular box belongs to a cargo mission but we'll have to see all right so it says uh server error and resets will auto abandon contracts through uh notably cargo yet to be retrieved from the cargo elevator is not marked as stolen meaning it's still legal to sell all right so it continues to say using a tractor beam or contract cargo will now tell you that the cargo is a part of the contract exactly what i was saying and on the ui section that also tells you what it is and the weight of the tractor object that's pretty cool continues to say hangers now visibly have two layers of doors to fly your ship through ostensibly one part of the spaceport model and one belonging to the hangar itself normally no impact because they open at the exact same time but of course evil users can experience only one layer of doors opening meaning we are trapped hopefully this never makes it into the live servers <laughs> imagine getting stuck um, but that's interesting 
All right, so it says here, uh, manually abandoning the hauling mission gives you the option to return the cargo to where you collected it from. Interesting, but this seems like a close order because the mission is still considered active, effectively preventing you from taking another hauling mission while active, nor do there any visible incentive to return this cargo unless you want to get rid of the stolen cargo for free. So I, I guess, yeah, it, it seems like it's a placeholder. They need to, um, if you abandon it, you should be able to have access to, like in, in case like there's a bug with the, with the actual mission, you should be able to just abandon it and get another one, right? So um, hopefully they figure out a way to do this in a clean way where you can easily get another mission right away and not be locked behind a broken mission. You know what I mean? So yeah, just my thoughts. All right, you guys let me know what you guys think down below before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one